everyone, welcome to another week of She Hoops. I hope everyone had a great weekend um, and you're ready to get some work done on this Monday night. It's pretty cold in Melbourne, um, so as always, we're going to warm up. We had a special request last week um, to include some dynamic exercises, things to make you more dynamic and quick. So I'm going to include some of those exercises today in the warm up. These are exercises that I do in the gym every week and they've definitely helped me throughout my knee rehab, so I hope they help you as well. So to start with, as always, we need to make sure our muscles are nice and activated. That just helps all the different movements that we do on the court. So to start, we're just gonna put our feet a little bit wider than shoulder width apart and we're just going to squat down, keeping our chest as tall as possible, eyes up, getting those uh, thigh bones parallel to the ground. So really feel like you're sitting down in a chair for this one. We're going to go for 20 and that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, halfway, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19 and 20. Great job, everyone. Next, we're going to just go half that distance, so a quarter squat. So we're going down, we're going to do a little pulse. So we're moving one centimeter up, one centimeter down, and then all the way back up. So quarter squat, pulse, back up. We're going to do 20 of these as well, and that's four. Try and keep your balance evenly between both feet. Keep those eyes up, that chest up, nice, strong torso. Suck that belly button into the spine. We've got eight more. Five more. I'm starting to get warm already. Great job, everyone. Three more, two, and one. Great job, everyone. Next up, I want to warm up that core and my arms a little bit more. So we're going to go down on the ground in a plank position on our hands. So my hands are underneath my shoulders, my elbows are slightly bent, my back straight. I'm sucking my belly button into my spine, okay? And then we're just gonna touch our shoulder with the opposite hand. Try and keep those hips as still as possible. We're going to do 10 more. My hips are starting to rock, so really try and keep them as still as possible. Nine, 10. Great job, everyone. Standing back up. All right, another leg exercise. We're going to do our lunge. Remember, I love doing different types of lunges when we're doing our ball handling. So this just gets our body prepared for that. So we're going to start with our feet together. We're just going to step forward either leg, Lunge down, I want both knees at right angles. Step back up, push back and swap legs. I want you to try and get back up in one step. So really push off that front leg to meet both of your feet together. We're going to do 10 each leg. So 20 all up. That is number 10, so we're halfway. Great job. We use this um, movement a lot when we did the punch dribble last week. Okay, so we need to be really strong in our balance and in our legs with all our movements on the court, but especially with our ball handling and our jump shooting. One more. 10. Great job, everyone. Next up, we're going to do some calf raises. So all I want you to do Stand with your feet underneath your, so shoulders, so feet shoulder width apart. We're just coming up as tall as we can onto our tippy toes. Try not to hold on, on, on to anything doing this, okay? Try and work on our balance. It helps me to put my hands on my hips. Of course, with all of these exercises, 
Think about sucking your belly button to your spine to switch on your core and help you balance. Gonna go five more. Two, three, four, and five. Okay, last one for our activations is our arabesque, of course, my favorite one. So we're standing on one leg, we're hinging at our hips, we're pushing our bottom one way, our head the other, and my chest, my whole uh, midsection, my torso stays nice and straight, okay? Four. Sometimes it helps people to put their arms out to balance. That makes it worse for me, so I keep them on my hips. Eight. Nine. And 10. Swap legs. As I always say, one leg's going to feel easier than the other, okay? My left leg feels better than my right. If you're tr having trouble balancing, look at a spot on the ground. Seven. Three more. Eight. Nine. And 10. Okay, our body should be pretty warm now, nice and activated. I want you to find a line on the ground, a crack in the pavers, or you can just use an imaginary line, okay? And we're going to do some line jumps. So the, this will help with our quick feet, it helps with our ankle stability, helps with hip stability, okay? And it also helps with our quickness on the court. So we're just going to jump with both feet over and back. Quick as you can. We're going to do 40 of these. We're up to 20 already. Great job. Keep those ankles, sorry, keep your feet nice and stiff, really bouncing out of your toes. Great job, everyone. Next up, we're going to go sideways. So we're going to go over the line, sideways with both feet and back. 40 of these. That's already 10. 20. 30, 40, nice one. Okay, next up, we're going to go scissors. So one foot forward, uh, one foot in front of the line, one foot behind the line, and we're going to jump both feet at the same time and swap legs in front, okay? I want us to use our arms for this as well. So as when we walk, when we, when we run, I want the opposite arm in front. So we're going one arm in front, swap, swap. Pick up the pace when you get the rhythm. Got 10 more. Great job, everyone. Awesome. Okay, next up, we're going to do a variation of the line hop, but just with one foot, okay? So we're going to jump in a box. So we're starting, I'm gonna start with my left foot. So I'm going to jump across my body, backwards, to the left, back in front, okay? So it's in a box. So we're going across, back, in front. Good job, swap legs, we're doing five each leg. Across, back, Across, in front. That's three, four. Great job, everyone. Last thing. Okay, this is called a hip switch. So we're starting with one leg up, our opposite arm up like we're running and we're going to swap. As soon as my foot goes down, my other leg's gonna come up on the spot, okay, as quick as I can. I'm going to try and keep my hips nice and still with this. So it looks like, whoa. Okay, so I want you to do it as snappy and as quick as possible, okay? When you get the hang of that, we're going to do two steps. So 
I start with my right leg up. I'm gonna do two steps so my right leg will finish being the one up. So I'm gonna, one, two, snap down. We did this in the last round of she hoops, okay? One, two, one, two, one, two. Get those knees as high as you can. Okay, swap legs. Great job, everyone. Um, grab a quick drink. We should be nice and warm. All right, guys, we're ready for our ball handling section. So as always, we're going to start off with our pound dribble. So you should know this one off by heart by now. It, you might think it's boring, but I do this before every single time I step on the court. It's really important that we warm up properly, warm up our body, warm up our brain is just as important as warming up our body. So the pound dribble is a really good way to start this. We want to set a great intention for the session. So dribble in this as hard as you can, okay? It'll translate into all the rest of the drills. So our feet are a little bit wider than shoulder width. We're bending our knees, we're in our nice athletic stance. Of course, our eyes are up, okay? And our chest is as tall as possible. I don't want anyone bending over like this, all right? Chest nice and tall, we're in a nice, strong, athletic position. We're going to do 50 pound dribbles with our right hand. Well, I'm gonna do 50, you're gonna try and Keep up with me, okay? Ready, set, go. That's 25, I'm halfway. Good job. Okay, we're swapping to our left hand. Halfway. Good job, everyone. Okay, next up, we're going to do our crossovers. So get those legs a little bit wider. Remember, in this series, in the round two masterclass with Majin, we want our crossovers to be nice and narrow, okay? Inside my shin bones, nice, snappy, and quick. Okay, we're going to, going to do 50 of these today, okay? Ready, set, go. Halfway. Great job, everyone. All right, next up we've got our three. So all we're going to do for this one, keep those legs about a little bit wider than shoulder width. We're going to go one pound dribble or as many pound dribbles as you need. Pound, through, okay? So remember when we go through, we wanna push our hand, push our fingertips through to our other hand and meet it on the other side. Try and clap hands in the middle. The more bent your knees are, the more strong your stance is, the easier this is going to be, I promise. The more we're over like this with straight legs, the harder it's going to be, okay? So we're going pound, through, pound, through. See how my hand's pushing the ball all the way behind my legs, all right? So the ball is hardly ever without being in my hand. You can hear how hard I'm bouncing the ball into the ground. Okay, if you're struggling with this, that's okay. Okay, take more dribbles. Or you can just pass it through your legs in a figure eight. Okay, if you're going the, through the legs, let's go for 20. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Nineteen, twenty. I don't know if you can notice, but as soon as I start feeling a little bit out of control with the ball, I sit lower and immediately I can get the ball back in control, okay? Um, Okay, next up we're gonna mix, put the crossover and the through together. So we're going cross, through, pound, cross, through, pound, cross, through, pound. 
If you can't go through, I want you to do two crossovers pound. Make those crossovers snappy. See, as I'm crossing the ball over from side to side, my knees are moving the, the way the ball's going. Okay. Woo. All right, now we've got the hang of it. You can stay with the pound in between or you can get rid of it and we will just go cross through, cross through, cross through. Choose whatever level you want and we're going for 20. Let's go. That's five, six, uh, sorry, eight, nine, 10, 11, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Great job, everyone. Of course, we have to do that on the other side of our body. So let's warm up a little bit with it. Pound, cross, through. Remember all the options. There's pound, cross, cross. There's pound, cross, pass it through your legs, okay? Let's go. Try and, if you're more advanced, try and do it without the pound dribble. We're going for 20. Ready, set, go. Pound, walk, cross, through, cross, through. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Great job, everyone. Okay. Next up, we're going to do the skip just on the spot. We did this a couple of weeks ago, so I just want us to get the hang of it. So we're just bringing as our knee, sorry, as the ball comes up, our knee's coming up. Okay. As the ball hits the ground, our foot should be hitting the ground. So it's a hop down. Okay. Try and synchronize your body and the ball as best as you can. Let's go 10 more. Great job, everyone. Swap hands. So, ball's in my left hand. My left knee's coming up. Ball goes down, foot goes down. Let's go, five more. Great job, everyone. Now we're gonna do those three combinations. So skip, cross, through, all together while we're moving, okay? So to start with, all I want us to do is a skip. So I'm moving forward, I'm creating space for myself, I'm pushing the defense away from me. So I wanna take up the space, okay? You control your space on the court. So ball's in my right hand. My right knee is going to be the one that comes up. My left one is doing the skip, okay? So just go maybe five skips forward. Good job. As you can see, as I'm um, skipping forward, I'm bringing the ball back to protect it from the defender, okay? So that's where that pocket dribble that we've been practicing over the last three weeks comes in super handy, okay? Going back with our left hand. All right, next up, we're going to go skip, cross through. Skip, cross through. Skip, cross through, okay? So you can see the change of pace in this movement, all right? You don't have to be the quickest athletic uh, person to be great at basketball. The way you change your pace, the way you change your height, so the skip's high, and then I'm low, okay? Low, powerful, explosive, okay? So we're going skip, cross through, woo! Skip, cross through, skip, cross through, skip, cross through. Go back the same way. If you can't do the cross through, I want you to skip, cross, cross. Skip, cross, cross. All right, great job everyone. Let's swap hands and try that with our left hand, okay? So it's skipping, cross through. 
skip, cross through, skip. And on the way back, remember, if you can't do cross through, go skip, cross, cross, okay? Skip, cross through, skip, cross through. Whoop. Oh, great job, everyone. That is our ball handling section complete. Awesome job, grab a quick drink. Okay, everyone, we're going to do some layups combined with our ball handling. So I want everyone to stand underneath their hoop and we're going to take one, two, three, four, five big steps out, kind of on a diagonal, so we would end up where the elbow is, okay? Put a water bottle there, a marker, a shoe, whatever you have, so you can start from the same spot, all right? I'm gonna move my water bottle away because I'm on a court. Okay, for all of these drills, I want you to start with a ball in your left hand, okay? So the first one we're going to do is one crossover move. Okay, so the ball's starting in my left hand. We're going to cross it over. Then I'm going to explode out. I'm gonna pick the ball up and do a layup. Okay, remember with our layup, we wanna aim for the top corner of the backboard, really get nice and long and extend through, okay? So we're doing, starting with our left hand, any type of crossover you want into a layup. Nice and explosive, all right? Then, still starting with the ball in our left hand, we're going to do three crossover moves. So I'm going cross, same, finish with a layup. We really want that first dribble out to be nice and explosive. We're down nice and low, okay? And then the last one is five different crossovers. So we can go cross through, cross behind, cross, whatever you want to do. We've learned a lot of different crossover moves, so let's use them all now. Okay, so we're up to five. Well, start with it in your left hand. One, two, three, four, five. Into a layup. Okay, that's one round. We're going to do five rounds of this. All right, so we've done one round. We start back at one crossover. One. Walk back. Three crossovers. Starting with it in your left hand, five different combinations. One, two, three, four, five. That's two rounds, okay, we've got three more. Now you can mix up the different types of layups. If you're more advanced, you can do same foot, same hand, okay, you can finish with your left hand on the right side of the basket, get creative with it, okay? So we're back to one crossover move. Three. And five. Great job, everyone. I should have mentioned before, if you need more than one dribble to get to the basket, that's okay. But try and keep it no more than, try and keep it under three dribbles, okay? So really explode out. Use that momentum and power you've created from doing your crossover moves, that nice tight ball handle to explode out on your first dribble. Okay, we've got two more. One. Three crossovers. And five crossovers. Woo! I cheated, that was only three. Great job, everyone. Let's go for one, one more round.
And we're up to five. Oh, great job, everyone. Let's go straight to the left-hand side, okay? So change your marker. Start underneath the hoop. Five big steps out to where you think the elbow would be. Put your marker down. So we're starting at the same spot every time, okay? And this time, oh, I'm puffing, sorry. We're gonna start with the ball in our right hand, okay? So we're going to dribble the ball towards the basket with our left hand. It's really important that we can use both sides of our body when doing basketball. I don't expect everyone to be really great at it today, okay? But the more we practice at home by ourselves, all right, the better we're going to be at this. So I want everyone to be using their left hand and please, please try and use your left hand to shoot. It doesn't matter if it doesn't hit the ring, okay? That's why we're practicing at home. So we're gonna start with the ball in our right hand. Remember, our first one is one crossover move. Woo! See, even I make mistakes. One. Walk back, three moves. Well, start with the ball in your right hand. Five moves. That's one round. We've got four more. One crossover move. Three. Five. Two rounds. Well done, everyone. This is tough. One. Three. And five. Two more rounds. We start with one crossover move. Let's challenge ourselves with these crossovers now. The lower you get, the easier it's going to be. Five crossover moves. Oh, last round, guys. Great job. One. Three. And five. Woo! Grab a drink, everyone. Awesome job. So, right hand, jump, shoot. Okay, 
we're going to do the left hand, but we'll work on that right before we start dribbling it with our left hand. So let's go over. Let's start under a hoop. Let's say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven big steps out. So you hopefully you're near the three point line. Okay. We're going to start in that split stance we worked on last round of masterclass with Majin. Okay, so our right foot's forward, our left foot's back. So my first step I take is going to be with my left foot. The ball is in my right hand. We're going, we're bouncing the ball, two dribbles, and we're going left, right. We're picking the ball up, and we're going left, right. Okay? So to start with, go back slow if we need. Alright, so we're going right foot forward, ball in my right hand. We're going to change the footwork up this time. So we're still starting with the ball in our right hand, our left foot's back. We're still taking our two dribbles, okay? So we're going. But this time I want both feet to jump in the air and for you to shoot it, okay? So this type of footwork kind of got taken away from the game for quite some time. But if you watch the WNBA, someone who always does this, it's also used a lot in the NBA, Brianna Stewart is amazing at this footwork, all right? So I want us to be able to do both. So starting with our left foot back, ball's in our right hand, we're going one, two, jump, shoot. I do find it easier to use this footwork when I'm shooting from a further distance away. It gives me more power into my shot. Two more makes. Still two dribbles, still left, right with our feet. All right, great job. Let's go straight to the left side. So we're starting with the ball in our left hand. So for the first footwork, we're just bouncing the ball and we're going right, left with our feet. So the opposite. So bouncing the ball with our left hand, we're going right, left into our shot. I'm just gonna do three. Bounce with my left hand, right, left into the shot. Last one. Okay, the next one, we're bouncing with our left hand. Both feet come up and both feet land at the same time. Remember when the ball's on the non-preferred side of your body, you wanna snatch it across quickly and get it into your shot pocket so you're ready to shoot. Last one. All right, remember we're gonna start under the hoop, take those seven big steps out on a diagonal, 45 degree angle. So we are around the three point line. The ball's in my left hand, so I'm gonna start with my right foot back. My first step is going to be with my right foot and I'm going right, left, right, left into my shot. So on that last dribble, you want to bring the ball across into your shot pocket, ready to shoot. Start off nice and slowly. Right, left, right, left, shot. I'll do two nice and slow. You stay nice and slow for as long as you need. Right, left, right, left, shot. 
Okay, I'm gonna speed it up now. Three makes sped up. My footwork stays the same. Woo! Thanks, look. My right foot's back, ball's in my left hand. Right, left, right, left. If anyone seen me play, this is probably my most favorite shot that I do. Okay, next up we're going to do the two foot stop. So still, my right foot starts back. I'm going one, two, jump, shot. Oh. My right foot's back. I'm going one, two, jump, shot. Last one. As always, I'm flying through this stuff, but please go back and watch it during the week. Keep practicing these movements, okay? I like to give you as much as I can each week for you to go back and practice. So we don't always have enough time in this, you know, one hour on a Monday night to perfect the skills, but go back and watch a recording. Grab a quick drink, guys. Great job so far. Awesome effort tonight, everyone. We just have a finisher. One more thing to go, okay? No defense tonight. If you want, you can practice that defensive drill we did last week. I've just got a fun foul shot game for us to finish, all right? So start under your hoop if you're not on a proper basketball court and take one, two, three, four, five, six steps back. Or if you use the under 12 line, take four steps back, okay? So this game, we're going to shoot our foul shot. So with our foul shot, we want to use the same routine every single time we shoot. And before you shoot, say something nice to yourself. Like, you're the best. I usually say, what do I usually say? You've got this test, okay? And I look at the back of the ring and I do the same thing every time. With the foul shot, when we're dribbling the ball, make sure you're looking at the ring. You don't need to be looking at the ball, okay? The longer we can look at the ring, the more we're focused on it, the higher chance it has of going in, all right? We don't need to do lots of crazy stuff before we shoot our foul shot, okay? Whatever feels comfortable for you, all right? So I just take two dribbles, nice big breath out, two dribbles, bring the ball into my shot pocket and shoot it. And, whoa. And I looked at the camera right before I shot it and I missed, okay? So this game is, if you swish the ball, it's called foul shot golf. If you swish the ball, okay, that is minus two points. So a swish is when it just only hits uh, the net, no ring, no backboard, okay? So swishing the ball, minus two, because in golf we count backwards, the lower the score, the better. If the ball just goes in, that's plus one, okay? If you miss, that's plus two. We want to get to minus five on our points before we get to plus 10, okay? So let's have a go. That's a swish. I'm on minus two. Another swish, minus four. Oh, three swishes in a row, so I'm minus six. So I win the game, okay? You're only competing against yourself, okay? So let me show you if I miss, all right? Oh, that's plus one. I oh, sorry, minus one. I'm on minus one score. Okay, so I missed, I add on two, so now I'm on plus one, all right? If I miss again, 
Whoa, air ball. All right, so now I'm plus three. Plus five. Okay, now let's try and start making them. I bet I don't. Okay, that's a swish, so minus two. So now I'm on plus three. Oh, that's minus one. So now I'm on plus two. That's just the make, minus one. So now I'm on plus one. Another make, I'm back on zero. Another make, so now I'm on minus one. Hit the back of the ring, so just minus one point, so now I'm on minus two. Minus three. A switch would have me win the game. Can I do it? It's another make, minus four. And a switch, minus six. I love that drill because it makes me focus on every single shot I take. And if you miss a shot, you don't have to give up, okay? So it makes me focus on the next one because I have five chances to miss without even making a shot before the game's finished, okay? So make sure you focus on every single shot, do your same routine, take a deep breath, say something nice to yourself, focus on the ring and use that beautiful shot technique, all right? Great job tonight, everyone. I really loved, obviously, highlight on my week every Monday night. So thank you for jumping on. Make sure we do all these skills throughout the week because next week, as always, it's going to get harder. Great job. <laughs> <laughs>